back at Khan's home today. We finished up some of the graves behind me last week. The goal is to go ahead and finish up the bed today. And we're also going to dress up some other bedrooms. The jabots were done. I chose to go ahead and make them much longer simply because the time before we had done them, they were a bit short. So having added the drapes on there and having added the jabots on there, now it totally gives us a, a complete finished product all the way around. This bed was uh, more gothic sort of a bed and client, as you can see from the structure of the house, wanted something over the top, so we are providing that look. Right, take it more to the right, more and more this way. Come back, yeah, right about there. That's gonna give us a nice balance in the entire bed. I'm gonna use these for tie backs around the columns of the bed. The client wanted it something also behind the bed, not just on the bed. So our, our goal is to go ahead and create this sort of a look and using what we currently have. I'm going to go ahead and use these dazzling uh, hold bags. Since we also carry our own fabrics, I was fortunate enough to just come in with a bolt of fabric. And that's our plan is to go ahead and take a bolt of fabric and just some of these guys and dress it up. In order to do the calculation on the scarves, usually recommended for every swag that you go one and a half times. For this particular uh, purpose, we want to be, the swag's a little bit deeper. So I'm just gonna add additional 10% on top of that. So that's gonna give me enough to be able to play around with the swags, take it up and down as I need it. Now that I've measured the fabrics, I'm gonna go ahead and find out where the center of the fabric is. And once I find out the center of the fabric, that's where we're gonna start for now. And what I'm gonna do simply is just go ahead and by putting my hand into the first fold and starting it from the inside, I'm gonna go ahead and gather up to the top of the other hand, to my other hand right here. This will be our center. So this room is a wow. Definitely some volume in the room. I'm very, very pleased with this room. This is the first time that we did this bed and I'm very pleased the way it turned out. The clients seem to be very pleased with it and we're gonna hear from them in a few minutes. I visited the showroom downtown. I met Steve there for the first time and uh... Uh, I was impressed with the uh, way he approached me. Steve is a, is a very honest gentleman, uh, I like him, yeah. You know, he came in, uh, we, we met and we discussed the, the, the entire uh, process that we wanted to have done. And uh, I'm very satisfied with what Steve's done. All the designs were met and uh, the, the fabrics he recommended also I'm very pleased with. So we finished the master bedroom and now we're going to go into the uh, one of the other bedrooms. I chose to go with uh, cream color tones in this room because this room gets a very little bit of light and so I chose cream colors because I felt that it's going to give it some life as well as we have a lot of dark wood in here and uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a very simple crown over the bed and some arms and just scarf something for them. Very, very simple. That's the plan. This is a similar technique as what we used on the other room by just simply finding the center of the fabric and working from the center and working way out to the middle of the room. So I have the fabric folded and I'm just gonna go ahead and simply find the center of it bring it together and work from there. To quite cover the entire um, vent, however though it did, the treatment distracted it and took away from it and sort of completed the room. Uh, the client seems to be very, very pleased with the room and, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the downstairs where we're gonna dress up the room a bit more. So in this room, the client uh, didn't care for the way the drapes were hanging. Simply, it wasn't giving them enough of a view. The room was a little bit cluttered. And all it takes is just for that matter, just to go ahead and redress the drapes. And by redressing them and tying them a bit higher, completely tremendously, it opened up the room. I think he's gonna like the way that we're gonna go about doing this. 
So this is the last segment of the job. I'm very pleased the way the job has turned out. Uh, this room here, after addressing it, it opened up completely the room. The client seems to love the job, and I'm so pleased that the way things turned out with this job. It went really smooth. Some challenges come as usual, uh, but overall, I'd probably say it, it was a nine plus.